Hi everyone, welcome to Rain's Kitchen and Garden. My name is Rain. Today I'm going to be shocking my well. I have well water and every year or so I have to shock the well, which means I have to chlorinate the water to get rid of as much bacteria as possible. Last year I was so busy that I did not shock my well. This year I have iron bacteria in my water, which is harmless. The only thing it does is it turns your water orange and it's not like a huge danger to anything except that it leaves residue and the residue can build up in the pipes and build up in the filters all around the house as you can see here this is my Brita filter that I have to change every two weeks or so for our drinking water and it's not just drinking water for us it's drinking water for the pets and it's also cooking water and I'm really sick of using this Brita filter and spending so much money on Brita filters, so I decided, okay, it's time. I have to deal with the well. This is my well cap. And basically, I'm going to be opening this up, pouring in three gallons of bleach, and then I'm going to run a hose into the well itself so that it will circulate water for about four hours, and that's hopefully going to flush out any bacteria that's in there. After I circulate the water, then I have to let the water run, you know, for a good half hour to an hour at odd times for the next week or so to try to get all that bleach out of the water. And hopefully that'll take care of the bacteria. I'll know because the water should be clear. Um, I have to do a water sample after that to find out if there's any other contaminants in my water. And hopefully there won't be because I thought I might have to put in an iron filter but the first test showed that we don't have high levels of iron, just that iron bacteria, which is yucky. So here I go, I'm gonna start. I just have a ratchet and I have to take off the four screws of my well cap. I just wanted to show you what it looks like down the well. This is the well opening right here and there's all these wires because I do have a well pump in there. And according to my well guy, I just have to pour the bleach right into the hole. I purchased this really concentrated bleach from the place where I got my well done. And so I only have to put two gallons in, but for my well, which is 350 feet deep, I was advised to put in three gallons. So two gallons of the really good stuff. It's really kind of cool as I'm, as I'm talking, I can hear my echo <laughs> as I'm talking, hello, <laughs> down the well. So here I go pouring in the bleach, which I hate, I hate bleach. I would never want any bleach in my life, but it's the only thing that's gonna kill the bacteria. And not only is it gonna kill the iron bacteria that I have, but it should kill any other kind of bacteria that's down there. So away I go, try not to splash it all over me. So this is called shocking the well. Here's another one. Down it goes. I'll go get the hose now. Mm -hmm. 
I'm going to put the cap on slightly just so no critters can get in there but I'm basically circulating the water in my well for the next four hours. While the water is circulating in my well, I'm digging. I'm digging all around the well because the whole idea is that you want to build a hill of dirt. You want it to be starting at around eight inches below the cap of the well, and you want it to go like this onto the ground. That way, when it rains, the water won't go right into the well cavity. It'll sort of trickle down like this. And the reason that you do that is because on the ground, we can't help it. There may be pesticides, there may be fertilizers. If you park your car nearby, there might be a little gas or oil that gets into the ground. If you use a lawnmower, sometimes you might have oil and gas that goes onto your grass. All that can be transferred into your well when it rains. So if you hill your well, there's less of a chance of that leaching into the well water. You could also build, some people put decorative things on top, like a wishing well, which is something I'm going to do in the future, and I'll make a video about it, and that keeps the well safe too. And my, I, I've mentioned in my other gardening videos, my soil here is clay and rock. <laughs> And I wasn't kidding. So it's very difficult to dig here, but I do have a pickaxe and a very good shovel. I'm just on my knees now doing this to show you what I have here. And also some of that old well dust that kind of turned into cement when it rained, it's all in here. So I have to get, I have to dig a nice big hole around the well cap and I have some really good earth that I'm gonna use to hill up my well cap. I finished digging my little hole around the well cap. It may not seem like much, but it took me over two hours uh, using the pickaxe and my shovel. It's about a foot deep all around, and now I'm going to dump some dirt around there and try to hill up the well cap. Well, my work is done for today. I'm so happy because I am tired. The hardest part of this job was to dig through clay and rock. That's why it took so long. Even the pickaxe, I kept hitting rocks and I had to dig them out to get to, you know, to any kind of clay that I could actually shovel out. I filled five wheelbarrows full of that stuff and that stuff is heavy. I think I've done an okay job hilling up my well cap. Uh, the next time it rains, which is supposed to be tonight, I'm going to watch and see what happens. The idea is that the rain will just fall down the hill and it won't enter the well. So I'm hoping that I did a good enough job for that to happen. I have a little story to tell you. About a month ago I had to go traveling and I stayed at a hotel overnight in the city. And I remember brushing my teeth and I tasted bleach in that water. And it reminded me that all city and municipal water is chlorinated. And 
I'm someone who hates bleach and the idea of shocking my well just made me think like I'm never going to drink my water from my well ever again because there's bleach in it. But we all drink it. <laughs> Most of us drink it anyway. So I have to take a little bit of a chill pill on that. And the next step after the circulation of the water is finished in a couple of hours, I'm going to take the hose out, put the well cap back on, and I'm going to flush the toilets and run the water for like a half an hour at a time and try to flush all of that bleach out so it'll be out of my water system as soon as possible. In the next segment, I'll update you and let you know how long it took for the bleach smell and taste to get out of my water. And I will also update you on the next water test. Cheers! Here's to clean, clear water. Look at how clear that is. I'm so happy. I got my water test back and I still have very small traces of iron bacteria in the water, but it's totally drinkable. I'm really pleased. I mean, you can see right through this and it tastes great too. Um, I'm going to have to shock my well once a year, it looks like, but that's okay. It'll go on the homeowner's chore list to do once a year it's worth it because now I don't have to worry about that orange slime damaging my pipes and damaging my faucets and things like that. It took five full days to get that bleach taste and smell out of the water system. I was running the faucets between four to six hours each day, intermittently through the day, just to flush it all out. But yeah, it took a whole five days for it to get out of the, the water but I'm really pleased. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned a little bit about shocking your well. I'm just so happy that I have a well and that I have water. I'll see you next time on Rain's Kitchen and Garden. Cheers. Delicious. <laughs> Bye.